chance for Anderson in transition off the block and out of bounds. So Anderson moves from opposite to outside hitting position. A receiver and now with 16 points and his kill percentage is starting to uh, increase a little bit. And a timeout now taken by Italy with the United States leading 20 to 14. Very comfortable lead for the United States. It looks like they're going to get on the board. Perotti over the top of Carson Clark, but clearly in. This is Randazzo, excuse me. Good play offensively. Borelli's been pretty effective with his jump floater. And an unforced error, this time hard into the top of the tape by David Lee. And it's 20 to 16. The United States has been passing better. They need a good reception. They're not going to get it here. Anderson looking to cut the ball inside right on the sideline. Really good swing. Boy, that is a world class play by Matt Anderson. And they're going to challenge this call. This is big. This is really big. It was obviously close. The Italians, the players on the spot, were telling their head coach, Mauro Bruto, they thought the ball was out of bounds. The ball. <laughs> ball was in by half a meter. Boy, sometimes the players can make their coach look really bad. Coach, it was out, it was out. I'm telling you, it was out. So he challenges, and the ball was in by, by as you saw, half a meter. Twenty-one seventeen, And Zaitsev again, this time off of Anderson, who was in a pretty good spot. Carson Clark hard off the block and out of bounds. The United States is going to win this set and going to get on the board after facing a must win situation trailing two sets to none. Substitution coming on Simone Butti wearing number 11 the 30 year old coming on the floor now he had come on as a serving specialist but now going to come on and stay. I think you might see Mauro Baruto rest a couple of his starters for the remainder of what's left of this set. Great dig by Shoji. And nobody up. Randazzo able to put that ball to the floor after the American block is completely fooled. You see Anderson got caught inside. He's there to help on the quick attack, but that's just a really good delivery by Baranovitz. Ball set tight, and Simone Parodi into the block and out of bounds. Very, very smart. Italy for a long, long, long time has been so technically sound. See him recoil his hand on that? Just a very smart shot into the edges of the block. Lead for the United States, not so comfortable. They give up one more. I would think you might see a timeout. Certainly, if Italy scores two. Wow, huge break as Randazzo misses that serve out of bounds. I think that gives the United States the set. 23-19, Anderson going back to the line. Good play out of the middle by Butti. 23-20. And let's see, Butti is going back to serve. Pretty good jump floater. 
That was really a good pass that time by Salvatore Rossini. The libero for Italy on a very tough jump serve. And the ball is whiffed out of bounds by Max Holt. The United States has never consistently gotten their middle going. And it's not just that they're not getting enough opportunities. When they do set the ball, we haven't seen a lot of really crisp connection. Mauro Bruto liked the break that that ball represented as it went aimlessly out of bounds. 23-21, United States calls timeout. Carson Clark ripping over the top. Huge swing coming out of the timeout. Really well done. This is uh, some of the best he's played in limited action throughout the course of this World League season so far. The United States with three set points. Max Holt had an ace on his last service turn. Oh, smart shot. Anderson was expecting the deep cross court corner. And Simone Prodi turning that ball down the line. Much the disdain of John Spira splitting the seam between the right back and the middle back. Set point number two. Zaitsev can make things happen at the line. The question is, does he really go for it here? Yes, he does. And it's 24-23. We're going to have a substitution. Taylor Sander coming on to add another receiver. I, I like this substitution. So the United States will receive with four. 24-23. Ivan Zaitsev, can he dial up another ace? Yes, he can! Boy, that is just magnificent serving. Now, if you're Zaitsev, you've done the hard part, but buckle down. You see so often, players will raise their concentration. They'll serve tough, they'll get their team back in, and then they'll miss this one. Ace again! Not Zaitsev. Now it's a match point for Italy. That's going to do it. Ivan Zaitsev doing it single handedly. What an awesome performance by the offensive superstar for Italy. Three aces, a couple of service winners, and Ivan Zaitsev, absolutely the star of the night. Christensen looks like he's got a play, but it was up in to the net pole or into the referee stand, and so that was it. Ivan Zaitsev just putting on a show to close out this match. Italy wins it, three sets to none. And they win the third, 26-24. Really surprising.
It's a disappointing performance for the United States. They came in playing exceptionally well, and they lose 3-0. It's important to score points and win sets. So Italy wins it 25-22, 25-21, and 26-24. A superb start to this tournament by the third-ranked Italians. Earlier this evening, Russia held off a very stubborn Iran.